go. I work for the Denver Police Department. I'm a detective in the Traffic Investigations Unit. But when I'm not at work, jujitsu is my passion. It's an art form, really. It's uh, using someone's leverage and momentum against them. So someone my size using their push or their force on me to take them in a different direction and ultimately put myself in a better position so I can get away. Okay, so we're doing choke right now. This class is a women's only class. A lot of times if they're grabbing you here, arms straight up. It's there to promote women that aren't usually comfortable rolling around with a bunch of sweaty men or they feel like they're too small or not strong enough. Ground their arm and their face like really low. I love being in the class with all women because you get a better idea of how women move on the mat, and it is different. If you have a gear or sweatshirt, uh -huh. keep that tight to your chest. We practice a wide variety of techniques from just straight up self-defense or more advanced techniques, but typically we focus on stuff that can help us out with the big guys. I grab here, knock her down, and you're ready in an armbar. I think it's important women learn jujitsu because you never know what's gonna happen to you. See if I'm choking hard, drop. Yeah, now you can breathe, right? When you're getting choked from behind, when you're getting choked from front, when somebody gets on top of you, where you're being attacked, sexually assaulted, you can defend yourself and you can get away from it. Mm -hmm. See how you can like control them with yeah. just your legs? You can break their arm, choke them out, get an easy way out versus feeling like you're pinned. It's empowerment to know that they don't have to be victims. They don't have to sit there and take abuse or get attacked in an alley. They can actually protect themselves. See how my elbow's pushing you? I'm knocking you down. It's helped me to feel like I'm not as vulnerable and that's a really good feeling. Pinch that and pull it toward you. Yes. Jiu-Jitsu helps you to defend yourself and know that if someone is bullying you, you could like come to school and deal with it yourself with take guard. At school, boys just can't beat me up or they'll get hit in a noggin or something like that. So another one is if um, somebody grabs you from behind. started doing jiu-jitsu because my son started and then get behind her foot. I sat here on these benches in this facility and I watched him for a year. Pinch your knees together as you pull my head down. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for four years. I started jiu-jitsu a year and a half ago. You had to have all the way into it, elbow her? to elbow, yeah. I have two kids that train. And when you tell your kids to suck it up and get back on the mat, I wanted to know what that meant to them. I pull this up and I trap it. Because all you're doing is trying to get the angle, so I'm still using you to pull. Okay. It makes me feel more confident. It makes me feel great inside. It makes you feel motivated to build your self-esteem, build your self-confidence. All the way up. Perfect. I was, and still am, kind of shy, but starting jiu-jitsu has given me so much more confidence in myself. It definitely gives me a lot of confidence, empowerment, and just sort of free will to be myself. There you go. But put it high up. My goal is to get all the way up to a black belt and keep going on from then. I'll keep doing it until my body doesn't allow me to. For the rest of my life if I can. That's good. I've done boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing. I've done CrossFit, I've weightlifted. Nothing gives me a better workout than Jiu Jitsu. So even for those that don't want to compete, it's such a great full body workout and I absolutely love it.